an iconic soap opera says goodbye after 72 years. We're at SD26 on Madison Square Park, where tonight a very special party is taking place. This is the kickoff for a fan cruise for fans of the show Guiding Light. Guiding Light is a soap opera, who knew, was on the air for a combined 72 years between its radio days and its television days. It went off the air last fall, much to the sadness of its fans around the world. But for a lucky 225 of them, they will get to mix and mingle for the next five days with their favorite stars from the show. We're gonna to talk to some of those stars tonight and also hear from them about how they felt about the way their characters were written off at the end of the show. And now, The Guiding Lights, created by Erna Phillips. You are so desperate for a man. Why don't you go back to Sandy? Why don't you wrap your little grasshopper legs around him? <gasps> We're putting smiles on these people's faces to have the chance to spend five days with Kim Zimmer, Robert Newman, and the rest of the cast of 13 cast members from Guiding Light. And that's the thing that's so gratifying to me is we're able to touch people's lives. I've never been on a boat before, so I'm bringing my drum with me and I'll have a little, you know, the wristband on and I'll be fully prepared to get sick. There was something different about Guiding Light where we as actors were very much a family. Um, and then there was the extended family that was the fans. We've been off the air for almost a year and there's still coming out and they're still supporting. I mean, without them, we're non-existent. My mother watched Guiding Light from the time it was on the, I mean, listened to it on the radio. And I used to come home from school when I was little and she, I remember her watching it, you know, ironing in front of the television set. 15 minutes, a little black and white TV. My character started out as a very good girl, but then they decided to make her bad and she had a split personality and, and she would go crazy at times. But then at the end, they brought her back to herself and I felt that was the right way to go. For me, Mindy Lewis was my first love on the show when I started in 1983. And I think she just wanted a happy ending and that's what everybody wanted to see. I was a little disappointed that we never um, completed the Jeffrey Riva storyline. That's who I was married to at the end, and he disappeared. And he disappeared so that Josh and Riva could ride off into the sunset together. And is there ever any chance the show would be resurrected? You know, you never say never, because as soon as I say never, then something happens. But I don't see, I don't see it. I was cloned. I time traveled through a painting. I rescued immigrants off a, a off a container ship. I think I was married nine times, three times to the same man, though. So. And, and how do we leave your characters in the last episode? Where were you? Not where we wanted them to be. I ended up in Germany working for the CIA again back with my original ex-wife. I ended up broken hearted and alone with a son to raise. So we took matters with your high school sweetheart. With my high school sweetheart, yeah. Jeff Branson, yeah. who's wonderful. Yeah, you look like you're in a lot of pain. Yeah. So we took matters into our own hands, and we're getting married in March. Yes. So. We're, yes. We're correcting the story. We really are getting married in Mexico in March. What a fun party this has been, and a wonderful tribute to a show that clearly is beloved by fans far and wide. In fact, I'm so inspired that I think the next year we need to do a fan cruise for viewers of New York Insider TV, which of course is the place where we bring you a taste of life on the inside. See you next time. It doesn't exist. Why are you disowning him? He exists to me. He exists to me. That's painful. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, have you ever been to Nova Scotia before? No. I love the way you got that back on track. I don't know what, I have no, I have no idea what the itinerary is. I have no idea what's going on. I just want to have a good time. And um, it'll be five days on a boat. So I have no friggin' idea what that's going to be like.